Hello there. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a general store business. My name is Sarah and I will be your instructor in this video. Before we start a general store business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. A general store has both timeless and modern appeal. These historic structures were once a one-stop shopping destination for rural or small-town residents looking for farm, home, and business supplies. Many historic establishments are housed in antique frame or brick structures, and some have the cachet of an antique wood stove or fireplace. Some general stores in the 21st century still sell traditional items such as wooden toys, nails sold from large bins, and cheap candy. Canning jars, gardening supplies, and sewing notions can also be found on the shelves of many general stores. The first step is to create a business structure for your general store. Choose an appropriate business structure with the help of a certified public accountant who is familiar with retail niche businesses. Sole proprietorships, partnerships, S-corporations, limited liability companies, and general corporations are all examples of business structures. Inquire with your accountant about the advantages and disadvantages of each structure, as well as how she chose the business structure for your store. Step 2. Create a plan. Finish your general store organization tasks. Apply for a business license at your county or city clerk's office, and inquire about required retail store permits in your area. Consult with a commercial insurance agent who is familiar with the unique risks that retail businesses face. Inquire with the agent about business liability insurance as well as professional liability coverage for yourself. To apply for a sales tax license for your general store, contact your state's Department of Revenue. Step 3. Establishing a business location. Rent a storefront in a good location. Increase your customer base by placing your store near other family-friendly attractions such as a children's museum or a movie theater. Consider a location in a historic district or near old buildings that have been converted into art studios or antique stores. Look for a building with a large front window where you can display appealing seasonal merchandise. Before you sign your lease, get approval from the local zoning department. Work with a sign maker to create historic-themed building signage that reflects the character of your old-fashioned general store. Step 4. Conduct Competitive Due Diligence other regional general stores in your city, town, or region should be visited. Take note of the building type that houses each store, as well as the store's distinct decor and merchandise selection. Some stores dedicate a section to antique items that were previously sold in the store, such as shelves containing vintage canning jars, antique tools, and apothecary supplies. Other stores may have a large selection of handcrafted wooden toys, colorful candy in barrels, rustic furniture or a large selection of outdoor clothing interspersed with hunting equipment. Inquire with employees about the most popular general store items. Keep in mind that the most popular general store items may not be the most profitable. Step 5. Obtaining Merchandise Order wholesale merchandise from your local general store. List the product categories you want to carry in your store, along with examples of each. Consider hand-dipped beeswax candles, pillar candles, and specialty non-fragranced candles in the candle category, for example. Consider different types of wooden toys for various age groups. Include products that your competitors don't carry but that have a market potential in your town. To improve your bottom line, buy the products wholesale or in bulk. Your choice of vintage general store merchandise should reflect the interests of your target market. Step 6. Hire employees. Employ pleasant store employees of all ages. Distribute flyers at local community colleges to recruit incoming college students, and talk to high school counselors about work-study opportunities for qualified students. Post job postings for second-career professionals and other emigrating residents with retail or customer service experience. Put your employees in coordinated casual clothing with your store's name on it. Employees should be trained in customer service techniques, store history, and fun facts about specific merchandise types. Step 7. Obtaining Customers Hold a traditional general store open house. Open your doors to the community with a one-day grand opening celebration. Make product displays throughout the store and provide grand opening specials on select items. 
Invite a local historian to demonstrate the history of various types of merchandise, such as handmade soaps or corn cob dolls. Arrange for a local musician or group to perform period music from your city or region. To encourage attendance, provide door prizes and use the entry forms to create a customer mailing list. Advertise the event on the community pages of your newspaper, historical society websites, and regional event calendars. Scripality also believes that once customers enter the store, in-store marketing is just as important. To maximize sales, make your shelves strategic and appealing. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Also, let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a general store business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy. An extension for education.